Hey guys, welcome back to I Eat Pop. And today I have made cinnamon buns and I also made BLTs. Now, unfortunately, we were recording earlier and the battery died. And so now there will probably be no cheese pull, but we'll try. Try, we'll try. I know. All right, do you want to pray? Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for a wonderful new day, Lord. Yeah, I just um, thank you that Gideon went down for his nap um, fast-ish, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just um, pray that everyone will be safe and that you'd bless us with your body. Do you say amen? Amen. Okay. Good. Take it to this. Oh, you don't want to have this one? Sure. Why did you do something to this one? Don't, didn't I do something to all of them? Because I made them. <laughs> all right. Cheers. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. I feel like it could have used like three more things of lettuce on it. I only got two. Mayo. Mm-hmm. There's mayo on it. Mm. See? It's on your face. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a good cheese pull. I know everybody noticed in the last one that Salem was like crawling. All right. Mm -hmm. The space is more open than the last place, so. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Makes it feel bigger. And it is. This has got to be one of my favorite breads. It's a rye bread, but it's so soft and like a little bit chewy and... Mm -hmm. This is the one grandpa was saying that all the grandkids like better than white bread. I can see why. Much better than squirrely. Taste wise, but not health wise. Yeah. <laughs> but so you had a good day? Mm -hmm. Yep, that was fine. You made it a school on time? Hmm. How was all school chapel? It was good. Do you miss being in worship? I mean, sometimes. Like, when I look at what the worship team's doing this year, I'm like, man, we could have been doing that. Like, last year. Mm hmm But we didn't get to. But mm. I'm glad I'm in drama. Mm -hmm. Because of COVID. Oh. And so there, we didn't have an all-school chapel. Mmm. I switch like me. That. I switch me. All of our singings and stuff were recorded. None of it was live. Oh, really? I thought you just would have, like, one class or two classes or something that would come in. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if you told me that. Did you tell me that? Mm. This is my 15-year-old daughter that I have to ask like 10 questions. 
my younger daughter just comes in and is like, Mom, let me tell you all about my day. Like everything about it. And then her, I feel like I'm always asking. So what about this? What about this? Oh, yeah, tell me about this. I mean, you're good at telling me, like, I guess friend stuff. Maybe just not, like, school stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She's like, school stuff, me. Mm -hmm. So we had her birthday on Friday. We had a few girls from her uh, class. Great. We're gonna see aren't in my class. Unfortunately. Again. Forgive my wording. <laughs> no, but we had careers today actually. It was really, careers was fun. Hmm. What do you learn about? Mm, How to do your taxes? Is, no. We're, this is our second careers class, Mom. Mm. So. And we won't have another careers class for another few weeks because we have a six-day sc uh, schedule rotation. Mm-hmm. And so career, we only have careers on day one. And okay. we have day one, like, every week or every second week or something. And so, and with all of these holidays that have come up so fast, we haven't had a chance to have careers again. So we've just, this is our second careers class. Hmm. How are you liking the six day rotation? It's fine, but it's confusing sometimes. I'm like, it's harder to memorize as well. Hmm. How is, come? Well, because then I have, to, I have to be like, like when I have a week, when we have the weekend or like a holiday, I have to be like, okay, what did, what day did they say we were coming back to? Oh, right. Like we don't just go back to day one. We have to, we continue. Excuse right. Me, continue on to where we started. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it makes things more confusing. But overall, you're enjoying grade 10? Feels like high school. Negatives? Mm. I'm not in the same class with all my best friends. I don't even share. The only class I share is with um, CLO, and that's careers. Rian has a different careers teacher. Mm. And so that's the only class I have with them, so we only have lunches and snacks. Do you always meet somewhere together? At the lockers. Are your lockers closed? CLOs, Rian's, fine. Mm. Obby. Obviously, they let you choose your locker rooms. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I had lockers in elementary school, but we didn't get to choose our lockers then. But in high school, then I got to choose my locker. Mm -hmm. I actually shared a locker with Auntie Nellie. Hmm. Were there not enough? I don't know. We just shared. Cute. Mm-hmm. I was hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten. Mm. That's not true. I think I had lunch around 11. It's like 5 o'clock right now. Mm-hmm. Cinnamon buns, cinnamon buns. <clears throat> I love me some cinnamon buns. They're one of the best things on the planet. Are they? Better than love? I mean food-wise. Oh. <laughs> Mm. 
What did you and Guido do today? Well, he was super fussy. So I had to hold him, play with him, nurse him, put him down for a nap. And I was so tired that I laid down in the bed for like 10 minutes and I fell asleep right away. It was crazy. Usually I can't nap during the day. But. That's funny because. Mm -mm. We can share it. No, these are safe for the other the kids. Yeah, see, I'm only in here. I can split this one. Not bad. You can eat this. <laughs> and she got a whole ton of candy and sugar and chocolate from her birthday party. There's totally some left. And I she didn't even share with me. You never asked. The other two actually asked. That's fair, but also, I'm your mom. Well, I forget about my mom sometimes. Mm -hmm. All the time? <laughs> this kid, I can never forget about you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm eating chocolate, my mind just... It's like, chocolate. And everything else around me fades. Mm hmm. Mm. We've been watching the Twilight series. Mm hmm. I read the books first, so. Not Aaliyah. She's too young. Mm hmm. What Sam's? He likes it. Surprisingly. He, like, kind of watched the first, not really. He was kind of, like, doing other stuff on his phone or whatever, but. And. Comment down below if your team, if you've watched or read Twilight, if your team Edward or team Jacob, because Sam and I are team Jacob, and my mom here is I'm team, team Ed Edward. I don't get, <laughs> Jacob's even better looking than Edward. Okay. I'm not saying that the actor that they got to play Jacob isn't better looking, but If you guys have watched or seen the series, let us know. Are you Team Jacob or Team Edward? Edward's just more mature. David's like... Or David? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. Was like, throws fits and like, gets all in a huff. And it's like, like Edward's always doing something for her benefit. Not that Jacob doesn't, but... I know, but Edward is know. literally 109. She's If he started to age... She'd be dating an old crippled man. Yeah, but... She just loves him. And he has more, like, mystery about him, I feel like. Especially in the beginning. I like, I like a little mystery. Okay, but, like, not Jacob or Edward. What do you like... What um, mm -hmm. supernatural creature do you like better? Werewolf or vampire? Can I flush oh. Um... Hmm. They both have pros and cons. Which one do you think is cool? If you can be a vampire that doesn't kill people, like they are, mm -hmm. then good, fine. But. But werewolves are cool. You can shift into a wolf. Vampires are like virtually like dead, I guess, where werewolves are like not like dead. Unless you're a vampire werewolf. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Wait, I'm werewolf Jacob, whatever you want to call it, all the way, because I don't know, I just. Why? I don't even know, I just, I've always liked werewolves over vampires. Like, just in general. Okay. Like, before I even read The Twilight, I preferred werewolves. Hmm. Maybe it's just because I prefer animals over the undead. Or I just really like animals. Plus, wolves are really cool. <laughs> I have a feeling it had to do with some of the other books we read before. Mm 
Yeah. Whereas if you would have had no preface for werewolves or vampires before watching this, probably still would have been werewolves because I, I don't know. I've just always liked wolves. Yeah, but they have to become a wolf at night or whatever, right? No, Jacob and his clan can, they get to choose when they shift. Mm. Uh, it's just in, oh, sorry, if you guys haven't watched or read the books. But do I they, have. don't, I always thought, see, growing up, if I ever heard about werewolves or if they were in, ever in a movie, not that I watched scary movies ever, but um, they would always be like howling at the, at the moon and they would have to chain themselves to chain themselves to something so that they wouldn't go out and like kill people at night because they would always shift from whatever human-y that they were into werewolf at night and then they had no control over what they were doing that is in some cases like i guess it just depends on the author the director's point like point of view on Mm -hmm. werewolves so i guess i grew up not thinking werewolves were like where me, the werewolf stories. Actually, I've read a couple of werewolf stories where there is where the gr- um, the main character, it's normally a girl, um, where she, when she uh, turns into a werewolf, um, she can't, she doesn't really know that she doesn't what know. What she's done or anything. Yeah, but. And then they come back and they have like all this blood on them. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> That's but, not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but with the one that I read, it was when. Whenever she actually met someone who was also like her, where he wasn't able to control. He mm. had no control over his wolf. He wasn't able to communicate with his wolf or anything like that. Mm. Um, but every time they killed someone, or no, every time they shifted without their knowledge, they would know they shifted because they'd get a, like a tally mark on their back. Weird. And he had like tons and tons of tally marks on his back. So when I guess found, it does just depend on the Yeah. So when he author. found... When in in the story that I read, when he found his mate, he, um, it was it was always on a specific day, though that's the thing. It was always it wasn't every night. It was on a specific day. You just had to figure out when that day was, and so when he figured his out, he went and he found his mate. He was like he she was she would lock him in the dungeon. He wasn't allowed to leave the room or anything. He wasn't he couldn't go unsupervised just in case. See, see, and so. Yeah. But that's just, that was that author's point of view. But she also had regular werewolves. Where but they that's how them. I feel like werewolves were portrayed when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. Anyways, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> are you, first of all, are you team Edward or Jacob? And second of all, how did you grow up? Did you think of werewolves as like the cringy, creepy things that had no control? Or like, I guess yeah, how I they're portrayed. Up. Yeah. Where, where it's like, they're... they're like people, but they can just like shift into wolves and back and forth and whatever. Mm-hmm. So then they don't seem quite as like scary vicious. either, or vicious. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, thanks you guys so much for joining us. Yeah, I would if there would only be two here if it weren't for my mom and her <laughs> love for Babs. Yes. Yeah. So the positive, shouting out of the day, goes in twos. Hi Hyun Park. They say, cutest baby ever. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate all your comments. I, for the most part, have been trying to get back to everybody. Um, yeah, if he's having a fussy day, though, or a fussy few days, there's not a lot I can do about getting back to you. But I love reading them. I appreciate your comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.